everybody right i better look like an absolute beach whale right now because i've just zoomed in on my face okay so the bed looks like a complete mess but it's because i've had my baby shower and i thought i'd show you like some of the things i've got but first i am doing the pregnancy vlog for 36 and 37 weeks because i missed out last week and so i was very busy um this is like a very different vlog because I've got makeup on, my hair, I've just, well, I've had my hair cut so it looks a lot better than me having it, like in all the others, I look dead, basically, so I'm a lot happier now. Um, than in the previous two vlogs, they're like really depressing, I'm uploading one now and I'm like, this is still really, really depressing, so hopefully this one will be better. Okay, so the last one I had... Um, a gross scan and that was fine. They said that she was measuring six and a half, just under six and a half pounds. Um, I'm going to try and see when I had that actually because they moved it because um, for another week later. Um, gross scan. Oh, I don't know. 19th of April. No, I don't know. I think 26th of April. I don't know. In between there, anyway. So, the consultant, but well, it was a different consultant because there was a junior doctor strike, so there was like nobody there, so we had to wait for ages. I went with my mum, and uh, yeah, it was fine. They just said the gross fine, uh, nothing to worry about. He also said, Do you want any advice about anything? And I was like, Not really. So, that was okay. Um, at 30. Six weeks, I was just feeling tired, still having Braxton Hicks actually, um, every now and again. I didn't really know I was having them, it's just like everything contracted, but it's like a tightening. It was mainly at the top though, not really at the bottom. That was kind of a new thing. Um, period pain still, like every once in a while, nothing, you know, different. Uh, that was it really. The main thing I was trying to get, um, prepared for is the baby shower so I need to get the whole house like tidy and bless Erin was like having to tidy everywhere and hoover everywhere and it was quite stressful. I've also got the grass down on the lawn which looks really really good now. Um, so yeah that was very, I don't know it was a bit of a hectic week that's probably why I didn't get time to do an update. Um, so I think actually on my um, app it did tell me for 36 weeks that the baby was like exactly, it's meant to be six and a half pounds and that's exactly what she was. I'm just under, I think. Um, yeah, so that was good. Um, anything new then? It was just the growth scan, the size of baby. I'll just do that in a minute. I didn't get any more maternity clothes. Weight, my weight has been consistent for these past two weeks. It was like 12 stone six. Now it's like 12 stone six again and this is on these scales so yeah uh stretch marks oh my god <laughs> the stretch marks that i didn't have i now have it's like i'll show you in a minute it's like they've gone turned like a purpley color um which is fantastic <laughs> i've actually run out of bio oil i didn't get any more and i need to go and get some and i've been using oh, it's all the way over there Cocoa uh, butter, the Palmer's one, and I've used two big tubs of that. And I really think the bio works best, really. So <clears throat> I'm going to go and get some bio oil because it's good even after your pregnancy, you still should be using it if you want to like reduce the scarring and stuff. But really, who's going to continue using it? If you're going to like reduce your scarring, it just takes time. And if you're going to put it on every day, but who can be bothered? So I don't know. We'll have to see. So, uh, sleep. I couldn't really sleep that much in 36 weeks. I slept bits. Like, I could go to sleep, but when I woke up, I felt like I'd done, you know, when you've done like a run or lots of exercise and you just, you're so tired, you just sleep. And then when you wake up, you're aching because you've done so much and your body aches. And you've also slept and you've only slept in one position. So, like, your shoulder might be like that. And then it's like, ow, <laughs> all my body feels like that. And that's still the same now, actually. Okay, for 36 weeks, Bluebell is producing meconium, 
Terry substance, blue bell, boat start, blah blah blah. I'm just interested in like the measurements and stuff really. Um, here we go. Blue bell is probably close to 19 inches and six pounds at this time. Oh, six pounds. I wonder if she, mm, I think they actually might have said that she was just below six pound then, if I remember rightly. I wish I'd written it down somewhere. Yeah, because I remember thinking, oh, that's exactly what she's going to, like, that's exactly right for her. Anyway, um, exercise. I was still doing aquanatal. Did I go that week? Yeah, I did. And it was good. It's getting really hard, like, a lot harder now. Like, when I first went at 20 weeks, I was like, yeah, this is great. And now it's like, <gasps> it's so, like, I think that week my legs were so swollen. Like, it, re it hurt and they were so itchy. But it was nice to be in the water. That was really, really good. Um, there was lots of movement, 36 weeks, cravings. <sighs> I can eat more things now. I tried a ham sandwich the other day and I actually kind of thought it was okay and usually they would make me feel physically sick. So it wasn't too bad, although I don't really fancy eating like a massive one. Well, um, I started eating a few more things now. Fish, salmon, that was good. But then on another day I had it and I didn't enjoy it as much. So I don't know. Um, wedding ring on they come off and on because sometimes I do swell and then I take them off and then I put them on so you know anyway for 37 weeks which is what I am now I'm 37 weeks and two days and uh, now even though bluebirds over six pounds and 19 inches tall the size of a honeydew melon close to birth size cooking for a couple more weeks can do nothing but help um, and that they just said that she's putting on lots of fat at this time she's so weird like I can't believe you can have a baby from any time now um, so anything new yes I have my baby shower I've also had my haircut which is great because I think right now mainly most pregnant mums or the people that I spoke to just want a bit of pampering because <laughs> we can't reach our toes we want our toes doing and I've actually done my own nails, but I need to redo them again because I did them for the baby shower and I need to redo them. Um, I've been looking at clothes as well for afterwards and for hospital stuff. I bought some nighties, which I'm going to get on Sunday. I have to collect them from Marks and Spencers. Actually, no, one nighty. And I bought some knickers, some big black knickers <laughs> for afterwards. And some, like, I'll show you them on the next vlog. Um, so I collect those next week. Um... I have my midwife appointment on Monday, that will be my 37 week one and there will be lots to talk about there and I'm sure we'll probably be doing a birthing plan or something like that or I'd hope we would be. <laughs> um, weight, I've said that, it's still the same, stretch marks, sleep, yeah sleep still like, I feel like more awake and more alert towards the night time, like I feel like I could go all night long and be awake during the day I feel like I've actually felt like I've been really really tired like unusually tired sometimes I feel like I can't even lift my head off the pillow it hurts and, then, and I think maybe my iron's low so I've been trying to eat a bit more green veg and stuff but I think I need a bit more in my diet so we'll see how that goes um, yeah, so my baby shower was really, really nice. I had um, my friends and family over here and both my sisters came and my nieces and they were really, really good. They helped me so much, um, especially um, the ones who stayed the night before because they had to put everything in the loft because my house is tiny. So basically everything needs to go in the loft because we don't have any other spare rooms. So, yeah. Um, Ooh, text. Hold on a minute, let me just, um, I don't know, you have to read it, don't you, or it'll go off again. i just interrupt my video. Uh, yeah, another thing actually is that I didn't mention the NCT classes, I think I did do, but really I made some really nice friends there and we keep in touch and one of them's had their baby and she went to Aquinatal actually before 
she like two three days before she gave birth and it's so weird like because obviously we were all first time mums and when I saw the picture that she'd had him I was like oh my god we've all met like all our babies it's weird to think that there's a baby in here you you have no like I've got the Moses basket here and I keep on looking at it and thinking that it's never going to happen you don't really understand it's like a game <laughs> it's like oh I'll get all these things ready but you don't really know the outcome when I saw the baby, I was like, oh my god, he's been there with her all the time. <laughs> it's a really strange, I don't know, it's odd. Right, anyway, I'll get on to the gifts for the baby shower. The day before, actually, I went to um, Umberto Gianni's Gianni, 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 in Manchester and went to Harvey Nicks and had my hair done. And <laughs> I went on the train with my crutches, with my rucksack on with my hospital notes just in case I went into labour, hobbled there, everybody thought I was stupid but I just wanted it done so I didn't have to bother doing it for the baby shower. I didn't really have to go all the way to Manchester though to do it did I? But um, I had a £10 voucher to use so I thought I'll use that now and this is the last bit of luxury I'm going to get really before the baby comes so I was going to get him to style it but then I ended up just having it all cut off and um, it feels so much better now because it's, so, it's still really thick, it's still a lot thicker than it was. So, yeah. Um, and then my sister and niece, we all drove up together the night before, so that was good. Right, okay, I'm going to st try and start it like this. I just had to alter the camera because I realised I was like zoomed right in in my face and I looked massive. But I'll still upload it anyway. Um, by the way, I love these travel travel pillows. They're so good to wedge underneath your bump when you're in bed. They're, and they're just comfy to like lean on or just do, I just love them. Hold on, I need that out. Right, okay, let's get started. I don't know which one to do first. Okay, I'm not sure if I told you, but at work, um, when I left, I went in again and they gave me a 60 pound boots voucher, which is in here and a really nice bunch of flowers which just in the house and I can't bother to show you but they were really nice I don't know if I did tell you but yeah so I'm going to put that towards a baby bouncer and I've been looking at one but I need to order it in uh, to store so I'm going to get um, a baby bouncer with that okay so um, I'll just go ahead and start I got this in me uh, this is what I really really wanted it's a Peter Rabbit baby keepsake box so basically it comes with the book and the record book so of all the baby things that you keep in the first so just the first year yeah all the things that all the milestones that they reach and it just looks like that i love this it's amazing it's got this little thing and it's also got a drawer in it as well um so you can keep like if you were going to write a pen and some notes as well maybe these are like thank you notes um so that was really really nice that was off my sister i'm good i want to say you everything's off but i'm gonna forget um i want to do my other sister as well i can't remember what she gave me though oh yeah this she gave me a little book which oh i know what i've forgotten to bring in she's also bought me some curtains i might show you that when the curtains are actually up in the nursery um, I love them, they're really nice, but she got me this book and she also made me with her mother-in-law, which I was so pleased with, is this gorgeous blanket, um, it's amazing, I love it, I think they did half and half or they just, I think she just helped Joanna do it and it's so pretty, I love it, so I've put that in the Moses basket, but I think I think I might take it to hospital, but I've got so many blankets now to take to hospital with me. Um, I've got these. I cannot remember who bought me these. I have a feeling it might be my sister or somebody else. I'm not sure, but it says naught months and it says I can listen, I can say hello, I can say please, I can say thank you. And it just says I can do everything. 10 bright books for little hands, hello. Um, and then I'll get I'll move to the toys because I literally have no toys and that's one thing that people were asking me like oh what do you want and I said well we haven't got any toys actually 
I don't know who bought me these. I have a feeling it might be my sister-in-law. Oh no, I think it was one of my friend's mums who bought me these, I think. <laughs> um, so they're like teething rings. And I got this really cute dolly. And this is from Marks and Spencers. And this was from um, my sister's mother-in-law, Noreen. And I love it, I think it's so cute. And I just put it inside my Moses basket. My Moses basket. And then I also got this, which is so nice. I think this is from my niece, Honey. She um, picked this herself. I think this is the one, yeah. It's really cute and it's got that nice like paper in it that just scrunches. It's addictive and it's got like nice soft hair. And then I've got this one here, which I love. And this is Bright Starch Chime Along Friends Pretty in Pink. And it's like a ladybird, I think. And this is the same, it's got that nice squishy paper on it and the face to look at and to box. And it rattles. So I love that. And the next thing is a special one. This is from my one of my friends, Eve. Her mum has started um, painting. She actually did it, I think, to start off as like a hobby because she's um, retired now. And... Um, she just started off making these paintings and loads of people love them including me so she made me this and it's really really nice and so I'll be hanging that up in the nursery um, she actually asked my mum, I didn't know this, but she asked my mum what um, my favourite flowers were and they're peonies which I'm surprised she knew, <laughs> my mum I mean um, so she's done like peonies and a vase and this, it looks kind of like water actually at the bottom um, so yeah, that's really nice and the room is basically kind of going to be pink so and here is her card so if you like this painting then check out her Facebook page it's Jane Wilmot Art and um, she actually gave me her card on the wrapping paper um, so yeah I'll link it below and then if any of you like this kind of thing I know some people like really do and then some people like are just interested in like works of art and you know what other people or like how they do it and things so yeah that's really nice and I love things that have been like made it's just like obviously you can't put a price on them like the blanket and and everything like that they're just a bit different and something you'll always remember so the clothes um oh actually and this Hold on, I'll start. This is from my sister-in-law. She bought us um, mum and dad-to-be. Congratulations, you're going to be parents. Pitter patter of tiny feet is on its way to you, so make a wish before you tie, and may your wishes come true. I didn't actually read that. Two jewels and Erin, lots of love. Alicia, Robin, honey. It's like little um, bracelets with uh, small feet on. So they're cute. And... We'll start with, actually I'll start with this because everybody was like, oh my god, this really cute dress. It's one to three months and it is from Zara, Zara Baby. And this is what my sister-in-law got me, Alicia. It is so cute. <laughs> and my mum's going to knit a cardigan to go with it. We thought maybe something pink or um, she thought a denim blue cardigan might go well. And it's got buttons down the back and I'm hoping she'll fit in it for my sister-in-law's birthday because it's going to be her 30th birthday in July so I'm hoping she'll fit into them. It's one to three months, I don't know, we'll see, it depends how big she is. <laughs> so that's really nice. Um, I've got these um, baby grows and these are from my friend Ellie and I think these are from Boots and they're really nice and definitely something I would choose. Um, so I'll have to get these washed. I think these, I think they might be naught to three. This is also from my sister-in-law, I think. Yeah, a little hat, I think it is. Summer hat. And these are also from my sister-in-law. These are from Zara. And these are one to six months. So these are good socks. I don't actually have many socks. Um, I think these are from Ellie again. These are from Boots, I think. And they're really, really nice. I love the yellow, the yellow colour. And they can also be used for boys as well. So, you know, next time if you have a boy, <laughs> you can keep them. And I like the fact that they've got these fold over things here. So I think these are all in naught to three. So we've got a yellow one. Uh, catch a star with a sheep on, just a plain one. That's cute. And these on with little chicks on. 
so that looks nice. Then these, which I love, are from Next, and these are from, oh, I forgot the shoes. There's some really cute little shoes to go with these. Um, these are from my friend Beth's little sister, Sophie, and she bought these from Next. I don't know why I'm looking at the tags. I know <laughs> I've seen them before. Um, they are so cute. I love the little romper suits. They're just adorable. And then this one here, and these are in size, first size, so up to seven and a half pounds, or just a bit over, so they'll be so good to dress them in, and with a little cardigan, I think my mum in another cardigan to go with this, or she's got some pink ones which will go nicely as well, so, good, and then my friend Beth, she bought this, and she didn't actually know that she got the same pattern, they are completely different, because that one's a romper suit, this is an actual dress, this is up to three months as well. So this should this should be fine to fit. I mean, our summers go up to like September, sometimes October. So June, July, August, September. It's like four, almost four months. So I think that should be fine. And it's so pretty. I love the pattern. I just love it how it's just simple and nice. And that'll have a nice little cardigan to go with it. It's also got some knickers to go with the nappy. So that's nice. And these are from my friend Flora. I'm going to have to water all these now. <laughs> these are so cute. Um, these are little leggings. These are from Baby Gap. And these are three to six months. And they've got this thing on that I love. The little frilly, the frilly bottoms. And to go with it, she's got me this. And these are in three to six months. So she'll be... These look huge, actually, from Baby Gap. So these actually might be for next year, maybe. Um, so I guess I could put a cardigan or maybe another long sleeve top over it because it might be a bit cold if because they do look quite big but I'll see anyway they're very very cute and obviously the leggings can wear whenever they're just very very nice lovely and then I got these little mittens these are also from my friend Flora these say baby baby on them and then I got this from my mum and I love this. I think she doesn't think I like it, but I love it. I think it's really cute. It comes with a hat. This is from George. And it's three to six months. And it's just so cute and girly. And it's got all the bows down here. I like it. And then I've got this. And this is from um, my sister's mother-in-law, Noreen. This is so cute. <laughs> I love it. It's very, very pale pink um, from Marks and Spencer's Baby. Is it not to three? Not to three months. Um, so, yeah, this is in not to three months, so this should fit fine. They just look huge. I can't, like, well, they look small and they look huge as well, but it's so cute. So I'll put, probably put, like, a nice white cardigan with that. The next thing, I've got these vests. These are so cute. They look like... They remind me of like an old man vest, you know, with the stripes. Uh, these are from Zara, actually. Um, and these are from Alicia, my sister-in-law. I think these are one to three months, Zara. And then I've got... Oh, you got me these. Yeah, I think Noreen got me these again from Marks and Spencers. And they, I've opened up the packet. But they're loads of vests, which obviously will come in useful. I think these are not to three months. Let me just have a look. No, three to six months. So that'll be that's good. And obviously, they've all got different things. On this one says strawberry. This one says cupcake. <coughs> um, and they've all got different like ice cream and things. And then they got these, and these are two jersey fitted sheets, soft and snug for a cozy night's sleep. And this is for the Moses basket which I have here because I haven't got any more than just this one cover. So I probably need to go out and get another few do I I don't know there's, a, there's two in there I've got one here do I need more I don't know maybe I should get another packet of these as well we'll soon see so yeah they, they are just a small selection of things I've got from my baby shower I've been really really lucky and um I'm so happy with everything I've got and I can't wait to use it it's it's really surreal as well as um, at the baby shower 
um i feel like i'm gonna um include like a clip in it because uh, i filmed part of the baby shower as well so you can see what went on um it's really weird as well because i don't know just it was it was a really really nice shower but I like because i felt so tired and exhausted even though i hadn't done anything it was weird it felt like a bit of a blur <laughs> So um, yeah, but it's really good and um, Erin's really happy with everything that we've got. Okay, so my um, symptoms for 37 weeks. I was saying that I've been really tired. I've still had period pains which have come on a lot more often now. And I've had a lot more Braxton Hicks, like they come mainly towards the evening time and they're really really strong sometimes i'm like Ooh. <laughs> like they don't hurt they just feel really uncomfortable like i have to stretch out and then i'm like mm, please just go away almost like it's just uncomfortable that's the only way i can describe it really and i get a lot of lightning crotch where you feel like there's a bolt of light just like i don't know like lightning down there and it feels like a lot of pressure I've also had like really watery discharge, which is lovely, which everybody wants to know that. But they say that it can change, um, so that's obviously what it was. I went to get checked to see if my water had broken, but they hadn't. It's just because the discharge has now changed, which is obviously on the lead up to things happening. Um, showing my bra. <laughs> uh, yeah, and yesterday, I, yesterday, went shopping with Erin, or food shopping, he pushed the trolley around and I thought right I'm gonna just walk, because I hadn't really done anything that day and we were only getting bits so I thought right we'll go, we'll do a shop and I could feel all this pressure before we went out, I could feel pressure anyway and it was a bit uncomfortable, we walked around I was like yeah I can feel a lot more pressure and then I was like I can't, so I'm gonna have to wait in the car so I went in the car obviously because I was sitting down with pelvic girdle pain it doesn't help if you sit down like when you sit down it kind of hurts because when you stand up again uh, it just hurts so then um, we went somewhere else and I thought I'm gonna have to come with you because you won't know what to get I, I could have stayed in the car but I thought no I'm gonna just I'll walk around it's not gonna take long five minutes if that so it hurt getting out of the car and then it wasn't too bad um, I didn't have my crutches with me though. I'm not sure if this would have made a lot of difference because this was a completely different pain. I started to get burnt, like a really burning sensation, like a lot of pressure. I was getting Braxton Hicks, period pains, pressure, lightning crotch, and then this like Chinese burn pain throughout my whole bottom region, like from my bum right through to the everywhere around there. It felt like somebody had punched me, like all in that area and so when we got back I was in so much pain and I thought god is this is this how it's gonna start is this it <laughs> so I just got on the bed and I went on my side which is the most comfortable place and it still felt like burning and my period pains were coming and going all the time I had Braxton Hicks and I was just but I went to sleep and I was kind of like I went to, I dozed off for about five minutes but I woke up with the pain again and I thought, right, I'm going to have to, Erin was making the tea, so I thought usually this kind of thing happens if I'm tired and um, and when I relax. So then I thought, right, I'll have some tea and see what happens. I had my tea, still having Braxton Hicks throughout my tea and period pains, the burning sensation kind of gone off. Um, drank a lot and then I had a bath and I was still having the Braxton Hicks when I was having the bath and I was like, oh my God, and I was still having period pains, but then I didn't phone anyone because I thought I think I'd know if it was gonna amount to anything and there's nothing much I could do I hadn't lost my mucus plug my waters hadn't broken so I just um like I went to sleep and it was fine like today I've had period pains and Braxton Hicks again but I haven't really had that burning sensation that I had yesterday it was horrible I'm not sure if it's because of the walking or not but I didn't really walk that far for that long so we'll have to see. Also, <laughs> a week ago, I started leaking colostrum. It was so weird because I was, um, I felt like in this past two weeks, my boobs have definitely got bigger, not bigger, 
like huge but firmer and I just and they hurt like underneath here as well and I just thought oh and then I went to go to the toilet and brush my teeth and got a mirror there and I looked at my nightie and I had these two little dots and I just I was so tired I was like I know exactly what that is and I looked down and I was like oh my god and there was like I literally just pressing it lightly and there was like a little bit of colostrum that came out and I thought right great so I've been wearing these I don't actually think I need to wear these to be honest it was just because I had a look in my other bra and thought I wonder how long this has been going on and there was like a few little spots in my bra and I thought well there's no really harm in it colostrum's not like dirty it's just a pain because it's on your clothes I guess I don't know but I thought if there's because there's a maxi dress that I wore and I didn't really want to get any of my maxi dress so and then put these in and these are okay these are just from asda so i'll probably have to wash these and then i don't know why i put this here this is just the lanolin cream because i have had like really dry nipples in the past but they've kind of been okay now so i've just got this ready to put in my hospital bag i'm ready to go i still need to do a hospital bag like what i've got in it and what i've got in my changing bag as well which i'll do at a different date but so far they're all my symptoms and my pelvic girdle pain actually if anybody has pelvic girdle pain i would recommend going on maternity leave like a lot sooner because i had to go on maternity leave when they saw that i was on crutches but i mean i could have had the crutches weeks before that you know what's happened with the physios and everything but literally having rest and not doing anything, not having to get off for work and stuff has been a massive help. Like, because I'm mainly in bed resting and just pottering around, it's kind of improved. Not improved, because obviously I do have, whenever I move around, I have the same kind of pain. But it is a lot more manageable now. Like, um, as soon as I'd finished maternity leave, I found that I had to use my crutches a lot. Um, but now everything's kind of settled down and resting a lot more i feel like it's a lot better like because when i went to work i'd always say it's better for me in the morning because obviously i've had a full day a full night's rest and then as soon as i'd been on my feet for like an hour that'd be it i'd have to sit down again and then i'd be getting up and down up and down but it was unbearable i can't believe i worked for that long in that much pain because thinking of it now because obviously I can rest, I can lie down. Lying down for me is one of the best positions I can get into on my side or on the other side. And I usually have about a million pillows all around me. And I keep my crutches by the side of a bed just in case. So, yeah. Um, I forgot to do my bump shot, silly me. <laughs> so don't mind the dress. But this is how big I am now. Oh my God, that looks huge. I'm going to show you hold on let me just lift my knickers up <laughs> right this is what it's like from the front this is what it's like from the side i can't tell if she's grown or not and i'm getting more stretch marks on this side and this is what it's like from the other side so hard doing this on like on your own and that's what it's like with this dress on I feel like it looks bigger in this dress for some reason uh, yeah but that's basically the bump for 37 weeks hi I just thought um, I forgot to mention the symptom I've been having just for any of those who are guessing the same kind of thing I am still feeling sick I think I've been feeling sick for about two weeks if I haven't had anything to eat for a while like now I think I had lunch at ooh, half one two and now I feel nauseous like I could be sick it's like reverting back to 12 weeks again and I can like I'm heaving <laughs> so I'm obviously gonna have to have something to eat I mean I did have some snacks but some sugary snacks isn't, isn't gonna top it I need to be in little and often I think and I'm getting Braxton Hicks and it feels weird <laughs> um yeah so anybody who's suffering the sickness towards the end I think it is kind of normal um I think the baby's obviously growing the baby's wanting more and you're don't want anything to eat really because you're that full like I've been having meals but they haven't been 
huge meals, you know. I can't, like last night I knew I hadn't eaten enough. And this morning I was ravenous. I was so, I woke up and I was like, I'm so hungry. But then you can't eat the same, so it's annoying. So I'm going to go and make myself something now so I don't feel as sick. But even when I, do, after I do eat, sometimes I do feel more sick because then I've got acid and it's horrible. <laughs> but it's, it'll all be worth it. I'm sure it'll all be worth it. I don't want to make this video a non-positive video, a negative video. It just sounded like rubbish. Pregnancy makes you do lally and also wear a funny dress <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, I'd excuse the dress. I was trying something out. I actually quite like the colour, but uh, it's not something I would wear normally. It's just because it's nice and stretchy. Um, also, I've been getting really, really hot because for some reason in England, we're having a bit of a heat wave and it's spoiling and I can't fit into any clothes. So there's no point in buying any because there's no point. So um, I'm just wearing random things. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next week. Bye.